the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit praise the lord 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 good morning dear friends in today's gospel jesus speaks about the second coming which doesn't mean that uh, to do the panic that uh, we disturbed uh, and we want fear but nothing else like that but jesus is coming in second glory which means uh, the changes which uh, takes place in the kingdom nation the people in the nature kingdom against kingdom it affords the earth to cats takes place but jesus is you no know, instructing us don't be afraid even without my knowledge even a hair should fall in the earth in today's first reading we see a beautiful message from the book of daniel we are getting that daniel was thrown into the cave of a lion there the god the god the angel appeared and he sealed the mouth of lions that's what we read in today's gospel when daniel was praying to god kneeling to god god is giving or god is supplying everything from heaven that's what we read whenever we pray with the kneel down and with the raising the arms look at the heaven friends you will also achieve things because whenever your hand raised towards god whenever your eyes raised towards heaven then you will get uh, all those things from heaven because god will supply you god will hear your prayer that is the power of prayer so in today's uh, gospel or the first reading it gives the wonderful message is that uh, prayer perseverance in prayer whatever happens whatever the situation may outside but don't leave your faith because that faith alone will save your life nothing will happen god be with you to take part in this banquet so make ourselves in a worthy manner to celebrate this one so to recall our failures our sins in in each day when we mistakes that we acknowledge all those things in this holy banquet i confess to almighty god and to, to my, my own brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what, what i have done and in and what, what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault Therefore, Therefore I ask bless blessed Mary, Mary Virgin, Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Stare off the will of your faithful Lord. we pray o lord that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies of your kindness bestows through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen my god sent his angel and shut the lions mouths a reading from the book of the prophet daniel chapter 6 verses from 11 to 28 daniel distinguished himself before all the other presidents and satraps and thus roused their jealousy so the presidents and satraps tried to find grounds for complaint One day the conspirators came and found Daniel praying and seeking mercy before his God. Then they approached the king and said, "O king, 
Did you not sign an interdict that anyone who prays to anyone, divine or human, within thirty days, except to you, O king, shall be thrown into the den of lions? The king answered, The thing stands fast according to the law of the maids and Persians, which cannot be revoked. Then the conspirators responded to the king, Daniel, one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or to the interdict you have signed, but he is saying his prayers three times a day. When the king heard the charge, he was very much distressed. He was determined to save Daniel, and until the sun went down, he made every effort to rescue him. Then the conspirators came to the king and said to him, Know, O king, that it is a law of the maids and Persians that no interdict or audience that the king establishes can be changed. Then the king gave the command, and Daniel was brought and thrown into the den of lions. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you faithfully serve, deliver you. A stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, so that nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No food was brought to him, and sleep fled from him. Then at break of day, the king got up and hurried to the den of lions. When he came near the den where Daniel was, he cried out anxiously to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you faithfully serve been able to deliver you from the lions? Daniel then said, to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths, so that they would not hurt me, because I was found blameless before him, and also before you, O king, I have done no wrong. Then the king was exceedingly glad and commanded the Daniel to be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no kind of harm was found on him, because he was trusted in his God. The king gave a command, and those who had accused Daniel were brought and thrown into the den of lions. They, their children and their wives, before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones in pieces. Then King Darius wrote to all peoples and nations of every language throughout the whole world, May you have abundant prosperity. I make a decree that in all my royal dominion, people should tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion has no end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. For he has saved Daniel from the power of the lions. So Daniel prospered during the reigns, reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response. Give glory and praise to the Lord forever. Give glory, Give glory, and, glory and praise, praise to, to the God Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, winter cold and summer heat. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Your response. Give, Give glory, glory and, and praise, praise to, to the, the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, dews and falling snow. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give glory and praise to the Lord forever. 
Give glory and praise, praise to, to the, the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord nights and days. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Your response? Give, Give glory, glory and, and praise, praise to, to the, the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord light and darkness. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Your response? Give glory, glory and, and praise, praise to, to the, the Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord ice and cold. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Your response? Give, Give glory, glory and praise to the, the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord frosts and snow. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Your response? Give, Give glory, glory and praise to the, the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord lightnings and clouds. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Your response? Give glory and praise to the Lord forever. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 21, verses from 20 to 28. Jesus spoke to his disciples about the end which is come true, which is to come. He said, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those out in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance as a fulfillment of all that is written. O to those who are pregnant and to those who are nourishing infants, in those days, for there will be great distress on the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars and on the earth, distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud, which power and glory. Now, when these things began to take place. Stand up and raise your hands because your redemption is drawing near. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our hand. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to the God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commandments through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly just and our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fulfilled with strength ever new and offer as sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent praise sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks and in exaltation we acclaim Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and the Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name, the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
Tumabala, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who Take takes away the sins of, of the world, world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, may the receiving of your body and blood not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body. From all my sins and from all my evil, keep me always fulfill your commandments and never let me part it from you. This is Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, God I am not God worthy God. that you should enter under my roof, but, but only Lord, say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep me safe to eternal life. Amen. Let's close our eyes for a while. Thank to God for this day. Interest this day in His feet. Lord, bless this day. Shower your blessings upon this day. Wherever we go, whatever we do today, Lord, guide us, help us, and protect under our wings. Loving Lord, we entrust our families in your hands. Bless our families, bless our children, bless our parents, and each one of us, so that we may walk in your light under the protection of your wings. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. 
we pray almighty god that to those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen the mercy sender to go and serve the lord thanks be to god